to access your Evolve.com interactive dental office assignments, whether it be digital charting or mounting an FMX, you will log into your Evolve account that you set up at the beginning of the course. The directions are in the introduction section as well as the inside cover of your textbook. You're going to log into your account after you set it up. You're going to go to My Evolve and you will have the Evolve resources sitting there. You will select that. You will select Student Resources. You will select Interactive Dental Office. It will pop up in a second window, so you have to make sure that you do have your pop-up blocker off. You're just going to type in your name. And then you will see there's case studies, radiograph exercises. This is the digital charting exercises. They have a glossary of a bunch of different definitions, which might help you with your vocabulary. They have different numbering systems. We only ever use universal in, dentist, in dentistry period. Um, the only other time you'd use the Palmer notification is if it's orthodontics. Um, there's different patient handouts, again, that you could utilize to see what you would give a patient. But right now we're going to go over the radiographic exercises, which is the mounting exercises. So you're going to, once you open the interactive dental office, you're going to go to your radiography exercises. In your homework workbook list, the, it will tell you, go to evolve.com interactive dental office for the mounting, and it'll already list the patient's name that you are assigned to do. As an example today, I'm just going to click Amy Harris. And obviously these are bite wings. So this is the x-rays that are taken and this is the mount at the top. Now when you take x-rays traditionally in a digital software, it will already put them in the correct place for you in the mount. But say you accidentally took a PA of, you know, number 31, but on the screen it was supposed to be 18, you can easily move it. So these are bite wing x-rays and we're going to mount them. So what you do is you take and you drag the x-ray up to the place it is supposed to be in the mount. And if it's the correct place, it'll stay there. But if it's the incorrect place, it will not lock into place. And that's how you know that's not where it is supposed to be. So you just take the x-rays and drag them to where they're supposed to be in the mount. And again, if it's correct, it will stay. If it's incorrect, it won't stay, it'll go back in. So that's how you know if it's correct or incorrect. So you can just keep sliding those up. And again, this is a four series of bite wings, again, with your Bite wings, again, kind of look at that curve of speed, the smile line. This is how you know if it's maxillary or mandibular. Remember, our mandibular molars always have two roots. Our maxillary molars have three roots. And in a lot of times in x-rays, you can't see that. But you can typically see the two roots on the molars. And that's how you would know this is going to be a mandibular x-ray and it wouldn't be rotated the other way. So for our bite wing x-rays, remember our molar shot is getting the distal of the last molar and our premolar shot is getting the distal of the canine. So this is one side. Again, the other side, the molar shot gets the distal of the last molar and the premolar shot gets the distal of the canine. So that's how you know the difference between the molar and the premolar shot. And you can put them in place together. So again, when you have to turn this in for homework, once it's completed, you would take a screenshot with your software, um, whether it's Snippet, take a screenshot of it and either print it and add it with your homework to turn in or screenshot it and save it and email it or text it to your instructor. Let's go ahead and select another one that is maybe an FMX. 
So he does not have all of his teeth, which is why the FMX mount has this many boxes, but only these many PAs, because he's missing quite a few teeth. So there wouldn't be any x-rays for it. So again, how we determine is we look at this x-ray and I can tell, if you click on it, it'll come in a box over here. I can tell that the smile line is down at the bottom. Again, looking at this one, I can tell it's anterior teeth because of the size. So the size of it, they look obviously smaller, so that would be your lower anterior teeth. For this one, I can kind of tell that it's a single root, and it kind of looks like eight and nine, so you kind of want to try and visualize the teeth. So if I think this is a PA of eight and nine, I would try and put it there. And again, if it stays there, it's in the right spot. This PA, again, remember the molars have two roots on the mandibular. On the maxillary, there's three roots. You can't always see the three roots on the maxillary but on the mandibular, you can definitely see when it's two roots. And also in the maxillary, you can sometimes see a white sinus line. Like in this PA, you can see that white line at the top is the sinus. So this is a, a molar tooth. So I know I'm, it's going to be either here or here, here or here. But I can tell because of the curve that it's going to be on this side. Again, this is, looks like a straight shot of 24 and 25, which will go this place in the mount. This one looks like it's my canine shot because I can see a little bit of the anterior teeth. Again, up here, just by knowing it goes molar, premolar, central, the molars are always on the outside. This is our premolar, so this is our molar shot premolar shot, canine, centrals, canine, premolar, molar. And then these are our four bite wings. And then the same down here. This is our molar shot, our premolar shot, our canine, our centrals, our canine, our premolar, our molar. So it's just like looking in the mouth. So I can tell those are my molars and premolars. So those are going to go on the outside. Here again, I can tell those are lower anterior teeth because of the size. And it looks like a premolar and a canine. So it wouldn't go here. A, we already have something there. But because a premolar would not be next to our anteriors. Okay, up here, I can kind of see a little sinus up in the top, that white line. Whereas as you see here on, like again, if I'm trying to put it in somewhere, so again, I would just, and you can tell by the shape of the x-ray. Is it going long ways or short ways, horizontal or vertically? So I know this shape of an x-ray wouldn't fit in there, but this shape of an x-ray obviously fits in there. So you can tell by the shape of the x-ray as well. So again, to me, obviously this is this shape, so it's either going to go here or here. And again, if it's not the right spot, it won't stay in. But how I can tell this one goes into the right side is because if you look towards the back, they kind of look more like the shape of premolar teeth. So that's why it's very important to know what the teeth shape should look like, and that would help you a lot with recognizing teeth. So again, I can tell mainly by this shape of this x-ray that it would fit into that spot. Again, this one, I can tell it's an upper because I can see the sinus lines, the white lines at the tip of the roots. And again, you don't have a sinus in the mandibular, so there would be no sinus line in any mandibulars. Again, I can see some molars in that picture. And again, 
I can see almost three roots in that back molar. They're not defined clearly, but obviously my molars, I would not put that here because it, remember it's molar premolar canine. So if I were to put this x-ray here, my molars would be next to my canine, and that's not how it is in the mouth. So that's another reason I can know it goes over here. So this is my molar shot, my premolar shot, my canine, my centrals, another canine would go there, premolars and molars. Again, this is a good x-ray to show you. There's three roots on those molars, which three roots are on the maxillary. And my molar shot, because it shows me the distal of the last molar, would go here. Again, there's not all the x-rays because this patient is missing all those other teeth. So that is how you do mounting on Evolve.com Interactive Dental Office. You slide the x-rays into the correct spots. If it's not the correct spot, it won't lock in there. And try to know your anatomy of your teeth. Again, this x-ray, it's very small teeth, and I, so I can tell those are the lower anteriors. I can tell this is a molar, so look for the sinuses, look for three roots or two roots, and then it's kind of just like a puzzle. Like if you have one or two in, then you can see, okay, in this one's stuff, I want something that looks similar to that, like that's a bridge or with a missing tooth in that area. So it's kind of like putting a puzzle together. And then you would screenshot it, save it, and send it to your teacher. So I hope that helps with explaining how to do the interactive dental office on evolve.com for your radiography mounting x-rays.